Welcome learners. In this video titled Tribes of Kerala Introduction to Major Tribes. Together we shall be able to list the important tribes living in the state of Kerala. It also gives us an opportunity to describe the various features of tribal culture and its varied exuberance. Well, we shall be discussing in detail about the tribal population of Kerala, another southern state. According to Hindu mythology, Kerala was created by Lord Parashurama, an incarnation of Lord Vishnu, by throwing his axe across the sea to create new land for his devotees to live peacefully. This beautiful land is rightly called the paradise given to its lush green scenic landscapes and crystal clear beaches that will leave you awestruck. Therefore, Kerala is often referred to as God's own country. In Kerala, the situation of the tribal populations has been diverse. Many tribes had previously lived in isolated forests jungles or hills and therefore lived relatively independent. Other tribes were forced to encroachers to inhabit these same previously uninhabited regions. Most prevalent viewpoint is that some of these tribes were in ancient times rulers and even kings of the land till they were defeated by invaders and either escaped or were sent to live in the forests. Regardless, they are inextricably linked to the forests, previously being their main source of livelihood. All the tribes have an extensive knowledge of the forests, its flora and fauna, which resulted in an impressive system of traditional medicine. They live very much in tune with the forest. Today, the tribal people have been forced out of the forests by their government or business corporations. Let's talk about the tribes of Kerala briefly. Well said. There are still 36 scheduled tribes in Kerala. They constitute only 1.45% of the state's population. What this figure indicates is that the rate of the assimilation of the aboriginals of state has been extremely rapid. In the past few years, 11 tribal communities have been declassified on account of the social and cultural progress they have made. Among the scheduled tribes, the numerically dominant ones are the Pulayans, Paniyans, Marathis, Malayariar, Kurumans, Kuruchians, and Irulas. The numerical strength of each remaining tribes is in the range of 25 to 20,000. What about the cultural elements? Tribes of the southern state belong to the famous family group of Dravidians. They have got similar body stature and traits. In fact, these tribes have a dark complexion and are quite short in height. They are also well built with flat nose. The tribes in the state grow very long hair and they tie it by forming hair locks. The mountainous regions of Kerala are inhibited by tribes namely Urli tribe, Paniyan tribe, Kapu tribe, Kanikar tribe, Khadar tribe, etc. They are reckoned as the descendants of the Negrito race. Cultural exuberances of these tribes are exhibited in a number of aspects. House building norms and rituals bearing resemblance to the tradition and ethnicity of the tribal culture. A majority of these tribes build their settlements in the dense forest grounds and also on the top of the mountains. The houses of these tribes are closely built so that they can depend on each other and thus maintain cordial relations. As a result of the rugged topography of the region, these tribes remain undisturbed by any kind of invasion from the foreigners, especially the Aryans. This is one of the factors why these tribes have maintained the originality intact. 
Influences of the modern day times hardly have brought about any changes in their lifestyles and in socio-economic scenario of their tribal society. According to the observations of the anthropologists of the Indian subcontinent, these tribes of Kerala have developed ardent faith on spiritualism and religion. True. They dwell in groups and depend largely on the vast nature of their various needs. Almost all the tribes of the state follow religion, which is centered on animism. They appease spirits for calamities and sickness. Apart from this, there is a plethora of local gods and goddesses, whom majority of these tribes revere and show immense respect and veneration. Worship of Amman or goddess Kali and Ayan or Ayappan was quite common. Moreover, there are few tribes of the state amongst whom ancestral worship is prevalent. All of the tribes are united in their worship of Banleshwara, the great mountain peak of the area. They have worshipped this deity since time immemorial, but recently have equated it with Lord Shiva due to influence from outside. It is often easy to spot a member of a tribe by the type and style of dress, hair, physical features, and body modifications. This was especially true of the women who wear, for example, usually one piece of cloth wrapped around their bodies and tied off just above the chest. Quite often, the women also have their hair pulled in a tuft on the left side of their heads. Tattoos were prevalent and most tribal women could be found with them on their arms or heads. Fairs and festivals are a part and parcel of the tradition and culture of these tribes. Especially during the festive seasons, the whole population of tribes of the state get enthralled by the dance, music and get engrossed with the mood of jubilation and frenzy. For the purpose of getting an in-depth insight into the tribal life of Kerala, we shall elaborate on the social and cultural lives of the main tribes in the state. We begin with Panian tribes. Panian tribes are said to be the major tribal communities residing in different parts of the state. They reside in different hilly and forest areas of Kerala. Some of the districts where these Panian tribes have built their settlements include Vayanad, Kolikod, Malapuram, etc. The Panian tribes are also called by the names of Pania, Pania and Pania. Most of these Panian tribes use a dialect of the Malayalam language. However, the Panian tribes who work in the plain also speak Kannada. The dialect of the Panian people is Pania language. The word Panian is derived from Pani which is a Malayalam word meaning walk. You are too good on Malayalam. The people of this tribal community are majorly laborers and their past history also suggests the same. In fact, these Panian are amongst those tribal people who have worked as bonded laborers in the ancient period. Naturally, these Panian tribes have got lifelong bondage with the tribal employees. Though the detailed information of the origin of this Panian tribe is still vague, some tales relating to this tribal community signify a little about the lineage of this tribal group. Thick lips, dark complexion, and curly hair are the physical appearance of the Panian people. There is a resemblance between the Pania people with the people of Africa and as per some scholars, the Panian people are of African origin. According to some scholars, Kapiri, Africa or the Cape is the land of origin of the Panian tribes. These Panian tribes have developed unique style of making their houses. A Panian village comprises of rows of huts constructed from bamboo with thatched roofs. 
These houses of Panyan tribes are either single or double story. At the time of rainy seasons, the Panyan tribes migrate to nearby rivers and cold regions. However, at the end of the season, these Panyan tribes return to their original village homes. They live together in colonies. Just like any other tribes of the region, these Panyan tribes too held the institution of marriage in a high esteem. Usually, the Panyan marriage is arranged with the aid of parents of both the bride and groom. The family of the groom chooses a bride. The whole marriage ceremony is quite simple and is carried on by the village priest, better known as Chemi. As part of the ritual, 16 coins and new dresses are given to the Chemi, who again give these items to the parents of the Panyan tribe. Although monogamy is the common practice, instances are no rare when a Panyan man marries more than one wife. The chief occupation of these Panyan tribes is to work as farmers in the field of rich land owners. In the ancient periods, they have worked as bonded laborers. In the contemporary period, Panyan tribes own their individual lands and also produce crops like rice and ragi. The Panyan females and children generally take part in digging roots of the forests or pot herbs. It is heard that some of these Panyan tribes, especially those employed by the rich landlords, deliver the coffee beans to their landlords. Apart from being employed in agricultural works, some are also engaged in tea and coffee estates. The Panyan tribes have a plethora of religious practices and rituals, which they follow with lots of reverence and devotion. Several sacrifices and also worship of diverse animal gods and goddesses are fetid though occasionally. Kuli, Kadu Bhagavadi are worshipped with great reverence by the members of this tribal group. Moreover, the Panyan tribes also revere Hindu gods and goddesses. In some parts of the Panyan village, the shrines of this deity have been built and offerings are being given to appease her. They also believe in spirits and worship natural objects to stay away from evil forces. The second major tribes we shall be discussing is Pulaya tribes. The anthropologists have incited that these Pulaya tribes, also known as Pulayar, Holaya, etc., is considered to be one of the major social groups found in Kerala. Very recently, these Pulaya have been bestowed upon the status of a Dalit. Etymologically, the term Pulaya has got significance. In the archaic literature, Pulaya means the origin of caste or Jati system in the whole South Indian territory. Even in the Sangam anthologies, which were written down as early as 500 years ago, in the Christian era, references of these Pulaya tribes have been made. Pulayachi, female, and Pulayan, male, are being referred as a gang of people who live closely to the houses of village elders and were engaged in some minor jobs. A popular belief of these Pulaya tribes, especially those residing in the Tiruvannandapuram district, is that they have ruled the region in the ancient times. They further added that in the Pulayanar Kota hill of the Trivandrum, a Pulayar king built his castle in the primitive period. Eminent ethnographers, including Edgar Thurston, also gave consent to this belief. Unanimously, they have accepted that the Pulayar tribes are descendants of the original native habitants of South India who are being thrown away and then taken into imprisonment by the encroachers. As far as the religious practices and norms are concerned, these Pulayar tribes have maintained their unique customs and practices. In fact, the Pulayar tribes have retained several pre-Hindu practices of the then period magic, spirits, arcane mysteries are an integral part of this Pulaya tribal community. 
Due to the treasure house of these mysteries, several people of the Indian society have time and again sought advice from Pulaya shamans or Mantri Kavadi. The cultural exuberance of this Pulaya tribal society is rightly being depicted in its bounty of music, dance forms, etc. It is also reflected in the exquisite crafts work that they have produced. Kolam Tulal is a beautiful mask dance rituals done to free themselves from evil spirits and another dance better known as Mudiyatam is related to the fertility. Various art forms are popular. Chimmanakali is an art form of Pulaya prevalent amongst those residing with northern part of Kerala state. Here, Chimmanam signifies humor or chat. Chimmanakalli is related to Garbaballi, which is called Kannal Kalampattu. The melodious songs that are sung with the performance of this play are called Chodiyam Pidiyam Pattu. To make the play really entertaining, these Pulaya artists add humor to the speeches and the story is presented in a dramatized form. In other words, Chimanakali, especially in a satirical form of art performed by the Pulaya tribes, pinpointing at the social ills. Margam Kali is an art form popular among the Palayan tribes, especially those residing in Travancore district. This comprises of group dances and martial arts like Parichamuttu Kali. The theme of the song centers around the life of St. Thomas, one of the apostles of Jesus. Pulaya people are noted for their pleasant and cordial nature. What is also remarkable is that these Pulaya tribes have restrained from adapting to violent means even when they are being invaded or intimidated. Just like any other tribal communities, these Pulaya tribes follow all the rituals associated with the marriage ceremony. Mangalam Kali is a dance ritual related to marriage ceremonies. It is a source of amusements at the time of marriage. Usually, Pulaya tribes execute it in accompaniment with beautiful musical instruments, including para and kanupara. The dance is performed in a fast speed. According to the famous scholar Edgar Thurston, these customs emphasize the fact that the beautiful face of the Pulaya was painted with red and white designs. However, several of these customs are being discarded for the sake of accepting new trends. In conclusion, this video shall help the learners to appreciate the rich historical and cultural exuberance of different tribes of Kerala. Two major tribes were discussed in this video, namely Paniyan and Pulaya. We hope our learners are equally excited to know more about the other major tribes of the state of Kerala. In part two, we shall discuss about other major tribes of Kerala. Thank you.